Hey everyone, this is Derek again. Uh, some people know me as DM Hokey. I'm one of the guys behind the scenes here at the dojo that sort of keeps it running, runs some of the back end stuff. Uh, but today I'm actually here to show you off the new Chess Chestnut Evo board. Um, if you're unfamiliar with this, this is this pretty amazing new board that that is just rolling out as we, right now. Um, it's got you can see it's got a screen, it's got a tablet built into the side with the board, so the board is completely integrated into the tablet. So everything that's on the screen is translated onto the board, so it's kind of this multi-functional uh, thing where you've got a tablet, you've got that computer aspect of it, while you can be training over the board, and the way that it's integrated is pretty incredible. Chestnut is doing a great job of coming out with updates constantly that either improve features or new features or increase in stability. They're just doing a great job of releasing this and it's and this is brand new so it's the potential of this is pretty impressive of where this can go um this is really kind of the first board of this type that i've ever seen so this is it's not it's very different than a lot of the other boards that you'll see um i'll, I'll go over a lot of the big features of it and try to give you a little bit of a background of how it all works and what you can possibly do with it today again tomorrow they might come out with an update that creates some new feature the way that they're rolling it out is pretty great. They are offering some pretty pretty great deals for Dojo members, so I'll include a link, an affiliate link down in the description, so make sure to check that out if you're interested. Uh, Chestnut is offering some very, very nice deals for everybody, especially around this time of year. So if you're interested in picking one up or pre-ordering one, take a look at that, and I'll include that all in the description. So let's get into it. To show you off how the board just works in a basic level, I'm just going to start with the bot match. So if I click the bot match icon, you can see it has three different engine options uh, to play against the bot. There's Maya, Stockfish, and LCO or Leela. I'm just going to leave it on Maya for right now. You can choose a standard board setup, play Chess 960, or the board editor, which I'll show you if you wanted to train from uh, like a custom position or a certain, uh, certain position that you wanted to train from, you can choose the board editor. But just to show you the functionality, I'm going to leave it on standard. I'm going to choose white just because I'm playing from the white perspective right now. You'll see there's a several different ELO levels you can choose from 1 to 9. I think if you choose Stockfish, you can choose a rating level like that. But again, just for my, I'm just going to leave it on level 1. Um, you can set a time control if you want to try to train yourself using time controls. I'm going to leave it at unlimited just for the sake of this demonstration. So if I click start now, you'll see the board opens on the right side, which you can see. Um, and then I can just essentially start making moves. So you'll see the board picks up my move and then immediately kicks back whatever the engine's move is. So the, the screen will show the board and then you'll also see how it lights up to show you that move. So you don't even have to look at the screen. So I can make that move. And when it makes the move, you might not be able to hear, but it also calls out the move too. So that one said to E5, so I know. So there's the board lights up, it tells you, and then you can see it on the screen. So there's multiple ways that you can see the move. I'm just going to play Bishop out, and then they play the knight move, which you can see, and you can see how the board lights up. Now from here, if I wanted to get a sense of what the engine is uh, thinking, what the, what the eval is, I can turn on analysis and you'll see the little rating graph. Um, we're obviously only a few moves in, so it's nothing crazy and it's a pretty simple graph right now. But as you progress, if you want to turn on the evaluation at any point, um, you can just to see what it is. Another nice function is this evaluate. So if I turn that on and I'm just really trying to figure out what the best move is, I'm, I'm having trouble figuring it out and want to see. Um, if I pick up any piece, you'll see all the squares light up, green being that it's a good, good move, red meaning it's a terrible move, and then yellow just meaning uh, it's, an, it's an okay move. Um, so it's sort of this, this system where if you're really struggling to figure out what a possible move is, you can pick up any piece and it'll highlight the possible squares and let you know which ones are good, which ones are bad, um, just from an engine perspective. And so I can just continue to play out the engine. Um, I turn off evaluate now because I don't want to see that. And I'll, I can just continue to play against the bot and just make moves, whatever I want to do. Um, and just play it out like I like I would for any other uh, bot, bot match. And then back at the bot match screen, if I wanted to say start from a specific position, I can choose board editor. 
and you'll see the board pops up right here and that's showing the current position. So you'll see if I move any pieces, it very quickly will update that and show these new positions. I'm just setting it up. So let's say I wanted to train from this, from this position. I can set the board up this way and then I can come over, choose whether it's white or black to move. Um, if anybody's castled already, if they can, I'm just gonna click confirm. And then I'm gonna click start. And now I'm in a new match playing against the bot just from this custom position that I set up and it's white to move. So I don't know what, whatever I'm trying to do, if I'm just trying to make a move and then it'll, you can continue from that position, which is just a cool training feature. If that's something you're looking to do against uh, the engine. So if I go to the analysis tab, this is similar to the bot match, but it's not going to make you play any moves or anything like that. This is really if you're just trying to go through some moves, set up some positions and just really just analyzing. Um, kind of if you're stuck, you can choose whether it's white or black to play. So then say it's white to play and then uh, you can click or let's go black to play and I'll click next move and it'll think for a second, depending on which uh, which engine you have and it'll suggest a move. So this is saying C6 to D4. So it's just gonna suggest that as a possible move. Um, and again, you can start keep making different moves um, and this will just allow you just to train and just uh, review games at your own pace, essentially. So if I go back to the home screen, another tab is this little engine tab. Now what this is, is you can see there's a couple different types of engines. Um, beyond the typical stockfish Maya Leela. Um, I haven't experimented with these a lot, but they have these additional engines that you can download to train against. There's one called an end game master chess engine. And again, so I'm not, I'm not very knowledgeable about what those are, but those are there if you're wishing to train those cool feature that I haven't, I've heard about, but I haven't tested yet because I don't have the subscription for it yet. You'll see it says a subscription is expired is this training mode. Now my understanding with this mode is, if you're preparing for an opponent coming up, you can download all of their games, upload them to this server, and it'll analyze their play style, what they typically do. And then you can essentially train against that player as an engine or as a bot to try to prepare and kind of kind of prepare for their style and their openings, that sort of thing, and how they respond. So it, it sounds like a great feature. I haven't got had a chance to mess around with it. I'm gonna try to do that in the future. And then going back, there's this fun little career mode. So essentially what this is, I think it starts out at 600 ELO and you just play games against it. And every time you beat the engine, your the ELO strength goes up a little bit. So as you progress, I think there's a couple different levels. I've only played a few training games. So I'm still at the level one. Uh, looks like the bar is about to go up to level two, maybe if I win another game. But so the ELO just progressively increases and you can train against the bot if that's that's your style, looking for something fun to do. It's a little career mode. Um, that's pretty interesting. There's a record tab down here. So what this is, is all the games that you play on here, whether it's against the bot or the, any of these like training against somebody else that you play kind of over the board here, it's actually recording all these games. So then you can actually go back. So it's fun if you've played with a friend and it's recording it, if you're playing it over the board right here, just, you know, with a friend, it'll record that game. So instead of trying to remember all the moves or writing them down, you can come back and see the log, download it as a PGN, review it if you want to. Um, it's just a nice way to record all the games that you play on the board. And then the last tab of these kind of um, accessory little tabs, I'm going to go to the clock and the clock is just a fun way to play if you're playing against somebody. Um, just over the board, it's it, it sets up the board and each person has their clock so they can play. So I'm going to show you if I were to set just I'm just going to drag this up seven minutes, whatever, seven, nine. That's a standard time, right? Nope. And I'm going to click confirm. You can play chess 960. You can set up a custom position if you're trying to do some sparring, like some of the sparring positions from the dojo uh, training program. But I'm just going to play standard. Click start. I had a previous game going, so I'm just going to discard that. Um, I obviously haven't set the board back up, but this would just be an over the board game. Each person has their clock beside them. Um, and it's just keeping track, just keeping a clock and you can just play an OTB game with somebody. If you don't have an additional clock, it's just a nice little way, uh, to play those games.
now for the kind of the main part of the board, the most the ones I use the most is if you go under this online match setting. So here is where you'll see the four main supported platforms, which is Lee Chess, Chess.com, Chess Kid, and Chessable. So if you wanted to play on Lee Chess, you could just tap Lee Chess and it would open up like it looks like in any app. You'll see the full Lee Chess uh, application that you can you can go through. You got your quick little games you can play if you wanted to access studies, that sort of thing. Just to show you the functionality, since playing the computer and playing an online game is the same. So to keep it simple for this video, I'm just going to click play with the computer. Again, I'm not worried about any of the time controls. I'm going to play as white and you're off and running. So just like any other game, I can make my move. Computer will think for a minute and you'll see the board lights up showing the, the moves I should make. I can do that. Again, come out here with the aggressive repertoire. repertoire. And they're going to play nine out there, kind of like the other game I was showing. And you can just continue to make your moves and play against the computer. Um, if I wanted to go back home, same thing with chess.com. Uh, functionality is the exact same and same as you would expect uh, playing just a regular game. You can come in, play your new game if you want. For the sake of this, I'm just going to play against the computer. Um, I already had a game started, so I can set the board back the way the computer thinks it is. And now it's white to move and I can just come in and make whatever move I want. Let the computer think for a second. It wants to capture. It'll show you the move. It'll show you on the board. You can make that move. I'm going to come back, capture again. And so this is exactly how an online game would function. I'll do a follow up video probably and maybe show show some online games. But just to keep this video kind of quick and to the point. Um, this is just essentially how it'll function when you play online or play a bot. It's the same thing. But Lee Chess and Chess.com, you have the full functionality of all the games and modes. I won't show you Chess Kid in this video because it functions just like Chess.com and Lee Chess, so it's great. Uh, my my girls love playing on that. My kids do, so they so they play on that. That's a great thing. Chessable is what I use a ton on here. It's a great way to 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 train and to drill your lines and to do some puzzles uh, since Chessable has full functionality in here. So if I wanted to maybe knocking stuff over. If I wanted to come down and practice my the Chess Dojo's E4 repertoire and click review, flashes up, loads it, and now I'm drilling my lines on the board and it's linked to Chessable so I can come in here and really practice and get that OTB experience without staring at a screen the whole time. Train my lines. It's just going to keep going. If I were to make a wrong move, as you would expect, well, that's not even a legal move. <laughs> Let me make a legal move. It's just going to pop up and say, try again, just like you would. Now, when it, when it is functioning with this, because it is just reading the screen, it's going to it kind of does that thing where it kicks it back and forth. It's just going to do that until I move that piece back. And now I'm ready to try to make what the real move is. And I can continue. Now I'm back at it. Really, really just drilling my lines. So it's a, it's a great way to train using Chessable and, and an actual physical board to get that full OTB experience while you're using Chessable. And now to show you how it functions if you want to solve puzzles or something like that on uh, Chessable, you'll see the position on the screen on the right, and then you'll see on the board, all the pieces are lit up uh, showing where the, where the pieces actually go. Now it's color-coded where each piece has its own color and that's fully customizable in the settings. You can change what colors the knight for black and white have, the pawns, the bishops, uh, so on. You can set all those custom colors. So it really just helps as you're setting up the position. Like if you'll see the red square, that's where the king should be, the white king. Actually, I've, I've colored them the same. So the black king will go on the red as well. And you'll see as soon as the piece, as soon as you place the piece on that square, the color will disappear, letting you know that it's on the right spot. So any of these other spaces that are lit up means it's either got the wrong piece or the piece is missing from that location. So I know that these yellows are the rooks. So it's just a good color coding way just to quickly be able to visualize and see how the board is supposed to be set up. 
So I'll go ahead and set up this position and I'll show you how to solve the puzzles. Okay, now you can see I've got the board position all set up right. Um, you'll see it matches what's on the screen and also none of the squares are lit up. So that means all the pieces are in the right location. Um, so now you can just go ahead and solve the puzzle. Um, this is just a mate and two. So I'm gonna take there. So you just pick up the piece, move the piece and you'll see on the screen it played that uh, position out and then it'll show again, king captures back. It'll light it up showing that the king needs to take that piece. So I take back, I can just continue you know, to look to solve the puzzle. And in this case, I'm just gonna move the rook over or mate right there. And so it, the chessable interface acts just like if you were clicking through it, but in this case, you can actually use the physical board and solve puzzles and train, train to have that visual uh, sense of the board. Um, it's just a great way to use chessable along with a, with a real physical board. And now the last little window tab that I wanted to highlight is this app tab. And so if you go there, that'll show all the applications that you've downloaded. Now, right now, the board itself, they don't allow you to download applications, but there is a way to do it using a separate uh, application. And Chestnut has confirmed that that's okay, but they're not going to guarantee how, if, um, they're not going to guarantee that all the other applications work successfully. There might be glitches because they're third party, not fully supported. So if you do install some app and it's not working correctly, that's kind of up to the app. And so Chestnut isn't officially supporting all of these, but I will say I've downloaded a few and they, the, a couple ones that I've downloaded have worked great. Like specifically, I use the Chess King app a lot. Um, and that's a lot of you might be familiar with CTR. That's a dojo uh, favorite. Um, so this app works great. So when you download it, it'll look just like the app on your tablet. You can go through all your courses that you have. You can open the contents or start a task and it'll act just like Chessable does. It'll light up the board showing you where all the pieces go. You can set it up and then you can play through the, the books, the puzzles, whatever you have on the Chess King app. You can play it right on the board and it's reading that information from the screen. So it's really helpful, really useful. Another cool tool just to be able to use this board with. And again, they're not going to fully guarantee that all these apps will work, but from what I've tested, most of them have been working great. So I've, I've been using them. If I go back to the application tab, you'll see that Firefox is here. That's the native app that's uh, default installed on all of these, um, which is great because it's a full, fully functioning browser. So if you needed to look up something, if you needed to go to a chess website and pull up a game, it's very useful because you can do that here all on the board. It's also great if you're a member of the Dojo training program because you can access the scoreboard right there on the board. So I can pull this up, see my profile, see all the steps, everything I need to do, what my next, next tasks are. Um, and then just to show you, you can come into the material, see all the openings. You can watch some of the videos directly on the board so you can kind of play them out um, on the board with the video right shown right here. If you come into model games, you can check those out and we'll check out one of, one of Jack's games, Jack versus Eco Wings or Echo Wings. Let me, and I'll, I'll set up this board really quickly. So now that I've got the board set up and say I wanted to play through one of these model games, I can come over here and kind of tab and click through the game and follow along if I want, and it'll light up the piece that moved so I can move that piece just like that. Um, one of the, the nice, nicest things about this is since I see the move list, if I didn't want to have to click on the screen, just want to click through the game, play through the game myself, I can see that C6 is the next move. And you'll see it automatically moved. It automatically ad advances me through the through the notation so I can keep playing through the game and then the game will f keep following along again. So I can just do this and it starts to create this. It just follows the game progression as I go instead of clicking through there. You can do it either way. A nice thing is if I wanted to go into some sort of analysis, see a separate line, see a different line, I'm just going to make a random move. I know it might not make sense but I can make that move and you'll see over here in the actual game, 
it records that as a variation. So it's automatically adding that as a variation where I can go back and analyze. And if I wanted to go back after and save these as a PGN or something like that to be able to analyze it, it's saving all of these moves that I'm making right there. So again, I'll just make random other moves and you'll see it's just adding this as a notation. And let's say I wanted to just watch some of these videos. If I go to the openings tab under the dojo, under the scoreboard, I can, you know, pick up, pick any of these, the videos right there. I can watch it right there on the board, play out the moves, you know, set it up like he, like Jesse's got it set up. I can come in and maybe view the PGN. Um, now, now this is flipped. I've got my board flipped uh, the opposite way, but you see it's lighting up where it's reading this position because that's one of the, that's one of the coolest thing about this board is it's not necessarily reading from the website. It's actually scanning whatever board window is on the screen and reading that similar to like chess vision. If you're familiar with that app, you can scan any board. That's what this is doing. And that's what this little icon down in the bottom right is. It's that little board letting you know that it's scanning the screen for any board position and you can throw it on there. So if you go to any website that has a image of a position of a board or something like that, it can translate that directly onto the board and it'll show you how to set it that up. And then you can go from there, play out a position, whatever you need to do. All right. Thanks everybody for watching. Hopefully this was a little instructional kind of shows you, I gave you a nice introduction to this board. Uh, like I mentioned, it's, it's kind of one of a kind at this point, there's no other board like it. It's got some fantastic features. I, tr I train with this thing almost on a daily basis. Just the, the ability to pull up, Chess.com, Lee Chess, Chessable, all that right here on the screen where it translates to the board so I can kind of have all those puzzles, all that content that's out there, but training over the board right there in front of me. Uh, it's just really a great feature. Um, again, nothing else like it. So again, if you're interested, make sure to check out the affiliate links down below. Chessnut is offering great deals for Dojo members, so make sure to check that out. Use that affiliate link, take a look, and let me know what you think in the comments. I'd be happy to answer any questions that anyone may have, um, and I'll see you next time.